हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विशाखा अ होम्योपैथिक डॉक्टर हेयर आई एम टू टॉक टू यू ऑल अबाउट अ टॉपिक ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मेडिसिन नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट इट इज नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम इट इज़ अ क्लिनिकल कंडीशन इन विच देर इज जनरलाइज एडिमा इन द होल बॉडी देर इज एडिमा हैवी प्रोटीन ओरिया एंड हाइपोप्रोटीनीमिया मीन्स थ्रू यूरिन ऑल्सो प्रोटीन इज कमिंग एंड इन ब्लड द लेवल ऑफ प्रोटीन गोज डाउन इन केस ऑफ नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम एंड इट इज अ क्लिनिकल कंडीशन इन विच थ्री थिंग्स वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट देर इज जनरलाइज रेडिमा हैवी प्रोटीन प्रोटीनूरिया एंड हाइपोप्रोटीनीमिया What are the causes? Next we come causes primary glomerular disease. Okay, primary glomerular glomerular disease. In this, some factors are minimal change in nephropathy, misangio, proliferative glomerular nephritis, membranous nephropathy, focal and segmental. glomerulo sclerosis means uh, at one focus or in the segments of glomerular there is sclerosis means fibrosis and scarring there is okay now third is crescentic glomerulo nephritis means crescentic uh, term means new moon shape okay so crescentic glomerulo nephritis now second is idiopathic the cause is unknown third is secondary to other diseases uh, nephro uh, this nephrotic syndrome can occur which is secondary to other disease some disease is already in the body and uh, secondary to other disease like infections if malaria hepatitis b herpes zoster streptococcal and staphylococcal infections syphilis leprosy cystosomiasis okay these are primary and secondarily what can it can lead into nephrotic syndrome second point in this is systemic diseases if somebody has diabetes mellitus amyloidosis he knows sclero स्कोनलीन अर्प्यूरा क्रायोग्लोबिन ग्लोब्यूलिनीमिया असीरम ग्लोब्यूलिन इन ब्लड पॉलीआर्टराइटिस नोडोसा दीज आर द सिस्टमिक डिजीज मीन्स ओवरऑल दे आर अफेक्टिंग द बॉडी नाउ सेकेंडरी टू दीज डिजीज वॉट कैन है लीड इन टू नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम थर्ड C is familial disorders means familial disorders means congenital neonatal nephrotic syndrome in family history it is coming airport syndrome febris disease now fourth point is tumors like carcinoma leukemia lymphoma multiple myeloma tumor composed of cells of the type normally found in bone marrow what is multiple myeloma myeloma means a tumor which is composed of cells of the type what type that is normally found in the bone marrow that is called myeloma here it is multiple myeloma secondary to this it can lead into nephrotic syndrome now third now fifth point is drugs drugs like gold anti convulsant drug if someone is taking so secondarily secondary to that it can lead into nephrotic syndrome non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs if someone is ns pids tolbutamide etc miscellaneous factor which are responsible for nephrotic syndrome development reflux nephropathy renal vein thrombosis toxemi toxemia in pregnancy allergic reaction to insect bites pollens and vaccines 
the renal artery stenosis these are the miscellaneous factor that may lead into nephrotic syndrome now what are the clinical feature so we dealt what is nephrotic syndrome it is generalized edema with heavy proteinuria and third factor is lowered decreased hypoproteinemia means protein in blood is of low level decreased it is now what are the clinical feature here more common in childhood 1 to 3 years it affect more in male children it occurs edema gradually increasing generalized edema which first involves subcutaneous tissues and later serous sacs okay edema uh, actually it is more common in childhood 1 to 3 years of age children and also more in male children now it is edema we are talking uh, gradually it increases in and develop into generalized edema first it involves subcutaneous tissue and later on serous sacs are also covered edema involves the limbs particularly lower limbs first here it is saying that edema involve the limbs and lower limbs in children edema may be more apparent in the face and abdomen in children edema can be seen more in face and abdomen region now fourth point clinical feature is gastrointestinal symptoms anorexia child will not eat loss of appetite anorexia diarrhea and vomiting due to edema of intestinal wall means gas git disturbance it has a group of symptoms like anorexia not group of symptom means here git symptoms anorexia diarrhea and vomiting because edema in intestinal wall then protein malnutrition because of this factor now general symptoms general symptoms are lethargy feeling not active child tiredness feeling tired frequent infections muscle wasting not gaining weight dyspnea difficult breathing these may occur if there is fluid in the pleural cavity okay if there is fluid in the pleural cavity these things can occur like muscle wasting dyspnea frequent infections tiredness lethargy feeling blood pressure when will be checked will be high now what complication it can lead into protein malnutrition first complication then hypercoagulability spontaneous venous and arterial thrombosis due to rise of many clotting factors as there is uh, protein malnutrition here first point second is hypercoagulability means blood thickness can increase hypercoagulability spontaneous venous and arterial thrombosis due to rise of many clotting factors okay so thrombus can form in the blood vessels arteries and veins due to rise of many clotting factors impaired resistance to infection like cellulitis primary peritonitis uti here it is so here impaired resistance to infection like cellulitis primary peritonitis okay inflammation of peritoneum covering of the viscera of the abdomen uti okay then fourth point point is acute hypovolemia and fifth is hypercholesteremia means cholesterol level will increase volume of blood is decreasing acute hypovolemia now uh, we saw what is nephrotic syndrome then 
after that causes clinical feature then complication now what is prognosis prognosis relapse rate is high prognosis depend on the underlying renal lesion which can be determined by renal biopsy here relapsing rate is high prognosis depend on the underlying it depends on what is underlying renal lesion lesion means the abnormality that has that is underlying in the kidney which can be determined by renal biopsy we can determine this now differential diagnosis if we talk about what is that from acute nephrotic syndrome it is preceded by streptococcal infection more common in school going children onset sudden and edema is rarely severe urine contains many red cells so differential diagnosis is that relatable diseases which can which we can th- think that it is nephrotic syndrome but it is something else here it is first acute from acute nephrotic syndrome it is preceded by streptococcal infection more common in school going children onset sudden and edema is rarely severe urine contain many red cells second of conditions causing nephrotic syndrome like cases due to diabetes because we have seen that primarily if somebody has diabetes mellitus it can lead into secondary factor can be secondary uh development of nephrotic syndrome can occur so of condition causing nephrotic syndrome like cases due to diabetes drug therapy nfi lactoid purpura etc and third is of generalized nsrk what investigation we can see urine testing urine oliguria if edema is seen proteinuria means heavy proteinuria we have seen rbc absent or few cast fatty cast tuber tubular cells can be seen no blood hemoglobin percent anemia hemoglobin can lower down hypoalbuminemia means albumin protein in the blood will go down hyperlipoproteinemia lipoprotein increased now third is so we investigated urine blood now renal biopsy of value in diagnosing the cause and in judging prognosis so renal di- uh, renal biopsy is done because it it helps in diagnosing the cause and also judge about how it will be the prognosis of this disease indications usually patient age must be over 10 years more than or over 10 years presence of hematuria hematuria blood in urine hypertension reduced renal function in absence of severe hypovolemia renal function reduces in absence of if there is severe hypovolemia now what is the man- management management is diet high protein diet salt free diet we have to give and protein high protein diet diuretics will be given serum cholesterol level should be kept normal because we have seen hypercholesteremia can occur so that must be kept normal should be kept normal anti hypertensive drugs anti hypertensive drugs because bp is high here in this case so have to give and homeopathic medicine should be given as per their indication so thank you friends if you like my video just hit the like button share and subscribe my channel
थैंक यू